Hello, welcome back. My name is Vasco the Gamer, and today I'm basically just going to talk about how social anxiety might, in some cases like mine, unfold. And the reason why I'm sitting that it might, in some cases, is because social anxiety can come in many a form. And how it is for me, at the very least, is that if I go out, which I do quite a lot, is not always because I want to go out and meet people per se, but because I know that for me, if I'm by myself a lot, like if I'm sick or just at home, I become a hermit, as I've said before. And it also translates into how I feel around others, as some of you might know, that if I don't interact with, well, people in a almost daily basis, I become quite stressed of, well, being in a social event or so, or those situations. Because if I'm a bit emotionally pressed, stressed, or just influenced by anything, that might, well, the tick goes off at any moment. And that causes more social anxiety because with the rest I at least try and be as normal as I can, or normal, which means, in my head, tickless. Because I want to function as everyone else. I try to embrace the Tourette, but then again, if you have tick, like, for instance, I have had this one, and I know for a fact that that can be problematic. Just a punch straight out of the side. And that was just a slow version of it. If that goes off, it's at very high speed and at a speed where I can barely block it myself. So what would happen is that could happen all the time, which causes a lot of stress. If I'm getting stressed, I'm getting energetic because ADHD. Hello, focus point Asperger, and I go through the terrace again. So that is very fun. And so my social anxiety is very spiralish, I would say, in the fact or in the case that if I get stressed for something, I have to focus everything on a tick, don't focus on the conversations and people, get stressed out because what does that translate to in my head and how does people around look at that? And after that, it goes back to should I even be here? Yes, I need to be here. Okay, let's try and focus. Let's try and concentrate on the take. We are not focusing on the conversation right now. Yeah, that goes on in my head whenever I meet people. And so, you have a double-edged sword. You can try and not care in the world about the tech. I've tried that, but my problem is that if that's the case, I'm just freaking out every time I see a tick because I know that, damn it, I have not been able to stop it. And if I don't stop it, people can, in some cases, get hurt. Just that punch can uh, be very bad for a lot of people. Or if you just have hot coffee, just... Wait, sorry, I burned your face off. Yeah, I like coffee very hot. But then again, it's the fact that are you noticing it and stressing out because you want to stop it? Or you try not to notice it, but then again, if something comes up, you have no idea what's ha happening. At least that's how I feel it, because if I'm not looking and focusing on a tick that's happening, I have no idea that a tick has happened at all. I can't feel it any other way. I have no feeling in my arm when a tick goes off. I have only the sight and, well, my hearing to go on. Hearing doesn't translate into a vocal tick though, for some reason in my head. Because if I get a tick, I can't hear it. I have no memory of it ever happening. And that has created a lot of tense situations. Now with all that in mind, every time you try to hold back a tick, it's basically knocking on your door every single second. Just. Hello? Hello? Can I come in now? Stay back! Yeah, that is old bloody time if you try to hold something back. If you're not, they just come barging in. 
which can be a bit annoying at the very least. And that is when I am completely calm. And if you meet me in real life, you know that I'm really that calm. And so with every single emotional affection, I tend to tense up. Just no take, no take, no take, no reflexes. Please don't take a reflex. Because if someone comes behind me, just hello. My first reflex is, oh, sorry. I like to have an arms thing on people. That is physically, just because I don't like it if people are, yeah, about that far or that close, just in case I get a take. And so if people are further away than that, few takes will happen because I don't get stressed about it. And so that's a fun thing. But as I said in the beginning of this vlog, that Social anxiety can manifest in a lot of things, or into, and also develop. Like, I was with someone and she developed an enorm social anxiety to the point where she wouldn't even leave her house and was basically scared of everything. And that was very problematic because she has always been staying most at home because illness and when she got that, that part held her very much back because she had no way of, well, fighting it properly. Because of a bad back, she doesn't have that opportunity to just go outside very much because she has days where she's just laying down. And that doesn't really help on that kind of anxiety. It has been two years since she was diagnosed and she's doing a lot better now. It took a whole lot of time for her just to be able to go outside the door. Some people take less time, some people take years or maybe even decades. It really depends on the person and the severity of it. And that is one of the problematic things about anxiety in its vastness, is the fact that it can develop over so many different things. It can also manifest very strongly or very lightly. For me, I'm aware of it, but the problem is that being aware of the Tourette and what it does has given me social anxiety in some case or form. But since I am aware of it, I'm trying to combat it by basically <clears throat> be as social as I can. And about two or three hours later, I have, I'm just, okay. That's enough socializing for today, I'm going home. And that's just due to the fact that, okay, <clears throat> I'm not going to be out so much that I'm getting stressed of it and so develop bad habits or getting to a point where, okay, the ticks are now taking over, I have no control, I'm, I have to go. Because if you leave a place with a bad taste in your mouth, basically, or a bad experience, then you don't really want to go back there. So that's part of why I'm not that social. I like to be just, hello, what's going on? Okay, I can stay here, okay. It's time to go home now. Is that because I really want to go home, or not only that, but also the fact that I know that, okay, the longer I stay here, the rate of success really goes down because rate of tick is going up constantly. <coughs> Jesus. And so that is my experience with it in its very simple form. And well, it's kind of hard because it's part of, I developed it not on its own, but as a part of the realization of the Tourette and the other things. Because when you're aware of something, it's a positive side and a negative side. Positive side, yeah, I know I can stop most of it by just, let's say I am holding back most of my tick in the duration of a day, but just 
well, damn it, words, where are you, dude? By tightening all the muscles in my body. Problem, I was told by the chiropractor, which I visited in the past week, that you should not really do that because that is going to hurt you a lot in the couple of next years. Okay, so what the hell do I do if I get a uh, tick? I can use it to stop it, but then again, for me, as I said, or as I have said in previous vlogs, that I'm really terrified of letting go of that little bit, bit of control I have. Because it's, for me, it's like a ticking bomb. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea of the repercussions I might get or which situation might happen. So I'm telling people, the second I meet them, Hey, name's Vasco and I have Tourette, so just ignore that. Also ADHD and Asperger. So please hold this conversation in a beeline and hold your distance. Thank you. And that is just precaution so I don't get stressed by that. Then again, it's a lot of things you can, str can get stressed by just by being outside. And that is evil. No, it's not. Okay. And for me, when I'm just talking to someone outside, I just look around in all the visions I have, just from out there to, well, about, yeah, 120 degrees vision or something. I have no idea what kind of vision I have. At least not 2020. Could you stop? Thanks. And that is just. Idea, 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 follow up on that. Yeah, that is my brain, it's got a brain in itself. But anyway, I'm not focusing on just one conversation when I'm outside, everything. And then the Asperger part, just, okay, let's focus on conversation D over there. I know I'm in the conversation, I'm part of the conversation A here, but no, we'll focus on this. And that is very annoying when you know that I've got to focus on this part, but you're focusing on everything and choosing the entirely wrong thing to focus on. And it's not voluntarily. That's just fucking annoying. And so that's how my day goes, basically. And also, I'm changing a bit between study and, well, vlogs and anti gaming because. It's not all the time I really have a good enough day to, well, game, because a lot of the games I want to play right now is very focused on the motoric skills that I got, or rarely got. And so, one of the ticks I have is what I would call a shivering tick, or light Parkinson tick. I'm saying that because this is what happens. Normal. And this is how it is when it's a bit on. Basically, your hands are shaking as all hell. And I have no idea how to control it. And also, it goes both lock and open at the same time. Or rather, after another. And that is just very inconvenient. I have broken one of my toes. A few years back, when I unfortunately dropped a pan on it, I was frying some bacon or steaking some bacon at least. Um, do, do, do. And okay, over. I dropped it right onto my beto. That broke the n nail and bone. That was a very fun month afterwards. Do you know how annoying it is to break that bloody toe? That was just, ow, just what happened? I dropped a pan on it by accident. You always have to precise if you're breaking something, if you did it by accident or 99.99 of bone breaking are probably accidents, but still, it's not that I will tell, just, I don't like my big toe. That would have been it. Stupid idea. Even more stupid than the ones I usually do. Anyway, uh, so if I have those days, 
not a good, bad, or mediocre days, or the psychological bad days. This is this is psychologically, but psychologically, physically, the manifestation between them and the tech. And those days are just very annoying because if you're going to grab a cup of coffee, start shivering, you easily get burned. You get burned very easily. Ah, sorry, that's just one of the. Both ADHD and Asperger part, just repeat it until it's correct, thank you. And so, with that in mind, holding a normal camera or setting something up is very hard. Also, editing is extremely hard when you got something like that. Also, scatterbrained. I'll do that, 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 that. Okay, focus, focus. Back! So, that's why I'm just doing this instead. That's a reasonable explanation, and also, you get something to watch. Win-win, I guess. <sighs> I just love doing this every day, just because, well, I have something to do every day for now. Also, if you don't have any hold points during a day, it's very easy to just change the rhythm again and again and again and again. Also, as you probably know, if you have nothing to do, you get nothing else done as well. If your main objective for a day is, I'm going to do zero things, then I have one little thing. You're not going to do that. If you have a lot of things and zero after that, you're looking forward to relaxing afterwards. But anyway, that's it for me today. My name is Vasco and this has been, well, why a vlog, I guess? I have really no idea because I have very bad memory of what I just said. It seems it's very late right now. That's maybe because medication makes me. Yeah, I told you. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. My name is Vasco, and this has been. Well, babbling about again. I'll see you all in the next vlog. Goodbye!